Right now, we're going to join Doug Gilly, who guides for me in Florida Trophy Bass Guide Service. Doug is fishing with a winner of one of the fishing trips to El Salto. If you enter our Take the Seven Day Challenge contest, you could be a winner too, but you can't be a winner if you don't enter. Now, just put yourself in the boat with Doug and see if you'd like to sample what Lake El Salto has to offer. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with one of our contest winners this week. We're down here on El Salto in Mexico where we like to go all the time. And our contest winner, you just watching the show on TV and That's exactly uh, right. decided to email a entry form in. He's done it well, how many times? A couple thousand times? I, I, don't, I don't want to admit that. A lot of it was on work time. Yeah, just a couple <laughs> times and, and, and won a trip down here to El Salto. So y'all keep uh, watching that and, uh, you know, maybe take a chance. You might win a trip down here too. Here he comes again. I don't know if he's going back down now. He sees the boot. There's a tree behind you, so. Oh. No. Ah. Good one. <laughs> hey, good fish, good fish. Right. How much you think? How much? Uh, ten? Maybe, maybe. Like ten or eleven? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah, good one. Oh, quit shaking that head. See him shaking that head, trying to spit that plug out. Good fish. Good Mayo Grande here. Ooh wee. Can't hold my rod up like I'm supposed to. Here it comes, Lorenzo. All right. <laughs> whoa, whoa. This fish is still, still getting alive right here. He can't even hardly hold him up. That's about a eight or nine pound fish. We don't, we're not even weighing them small ones like that anymore. But he's uh, <laughs> he's a lot of fun down here on Lake El Salto. I'm gonna throw him back while he's getting alive. Best way to throw him back is throw him in head first like that, and they'll they'll live good every time. No, he feels okay. No. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Yeah, that's probably a, about a six, and it's, I'm not even taking uh, still shots of these anymore. <laughs> He's a nice fish and he fought good. Oh, that's a lot of fun. I tell you what, that that is though. That's that's pretty pathetic when this is the the, the small ones when now. That, when that's the smallest one that you caught in a while. That's not bad. Whoa. Good yeah, good one. Boy, he drilled that thing too. Good fish. Good fish. See him come up. Only problem is every time it's a real good one. I think it's a good one. It's, it's not, but well, it's not a bad one there. Grande. Well, I'm as pleased as punch to catch another one of them little old bass down here in El Salto. I'm telling you, it's unbelievable day. This is the kind of tree we've been catching them in down here. I think that's an old mesquite bush, and they're rotting off, and they're coming right out of the tops of these things, like in 20 foot of water. This is a nice heavy fish here. He's real fat. They don't spawn down here till like May, but we've caught some. It's it's October, and we've caught some that the spawn was dripping out of them already. So they spawn basically year-round down here. Eleven pounds, two ounces. No, I don't think so. But I, it's one of them. Deals I can't never tell, you know, till it's all over. Now he wants to cut up. Jump again. Oh, oh. He's okay. Wow, well, that's a nice bass. Look at the tail on him. Now I caught one other day in here that had a tail like this. The fish didn't weigh but eight and a half pounds. It's a lot bigger around this than come back and the tail was right there. It had been broke just like that one right. See how that's broke right there? 
and the tail on that big fish was about that big. He couldn't, when I caught him, all he could do was just swim toward the boat and kick a little bit, but he was still big and fat around. So there's, I mean, even he could catch the bait. But that's got a broke tail on him. That's the reason they don't fight as good. Thank <laughs> you.